Hey everybody, this is Shane. I have another Transformer. This time I'm reviewing a Autobot Blades. He was from the Universe line back in 2008. This is a Voyager class. Now let me go ahead and point out something. This is not an original mold. This is actually a repaint of, I think his name was Evac. I believe that was the name of the character. But this is a repaint of one from the Cybertron series. Not that I'm complaining, I actually like this particular mold. Now, I'm a sucker for helicopters. Now, a couple of things I'm going to go ahead and point out about the figure. Number one, for the most part, this is supposed to be like a uh, French Dauphine helicopter, which, which by itself is actually a really pretty helicopter. Um, as you can see, it's marked Coastal Rescue. On the side, it's marked that on both sides of the helicopter. Now you bring it back here, you can see that not only is there a Autobot emblem right there, but the seal is around it, it says Autobot Coastal Rescue, which to me, that honestly looks a fair bit like the uh, uh, seal that's used for the uh, used for the Coast Guard. So, you know, that's a pretty nice little touch, and it's also on the other side of the helicopter as well. Now, this does have retractable landing gear. Uh, these just fold up to the sides, and these fold backwards. I'll get to that in a minute. But this does have a winch on the right side of the helicopter, and you can position it virtually wherever. I generally keep it right up here, this way, um, if it's like on the ground. But, if I have it in the air, you can then bring it down, you can pull this down, and press the little white button, and it retracts it. Pretty nice little touch. Now, this does come with a Cyber Planet key, and there's a Cyber, Cyber Planet key slot right here in the very back. But, you just insert this in here, and a pair of missile launchers just swing out to the front. Now even with the cyber plant key inside the slot you can still bring the missile launchers back here and they'll stay in there until you push give a little tiny push like that. But that's always a nice nice little touch. As you saw that was on a hair trigger there. But let me go ahead and just retract these. Another thing I'm gonna point out is this little button right here when you push this in hold on my finger was in the way there but push it in and his rotor blades actually do rotate uh, these these little rotor blades back here do spin I mean you can blow on them and they'll spin so that's, you know, that's pretty neat. But, as I was saying about the landing gear, these do rotate up, and the front that's right back here, you can just fold them in. Now, to start his transformation, first thing you can do is just remove his rotor blades right here. Now, to start his transformation, you can go ahead and start with the nose if you want to. But, just like that, you can go ahead and swing it down here. And if you want, you can go ahead and give it a full 180 degree spin. Fold these out. Well, the very nose of his helicopter mode is his feet. And I always have trouble getting these legs out. Also, you can go ahead and pull his legs down just a little bit. They don't come down much, but it does make him slightly taller. All right, hold on one little second. I always have trouble getting that one particular 
part of his heel out. So, needless to say, I'm going to get some slight assistance. Meet my good friend, the screwdriver. Specifically a flathead. There we go. And we have a helicopter Durwalk. Yes, I like my Durwalks. It spat them in any of my videos. Now, after that, let's see. Alright, you can go ahead, fold out this arm, bring it right back here, snaps into place, so it'll be real stubborn. While you're at it, flip this bl black panel open. Fold out his hand. Well, his yeah, his hand. Repeat the same thing on the other arm. Like that. Same thing. And you can go ahead and split the tail in half. However, before I do that, you can go ahead and just fold this piece down. I knew I was about to forget something. But you can pull his head up. There's a peg right there. There's a lock right there. Just snap them in place. There is Autobot Blades. Probably one of the most crooked standing things I've fooled with. But... Um... If you remember me removing his blades, you can then go ahead and reinsert them back in here. And this is one thing I actually do have a slight problem with, is in order for him to actually use this in his robot form, you have to pretty much bring it all the way out here. Because if you try, because otherwise... Uh, his tail right here, while it looks nice, while the uh, simulated wings look really nice, um, it just gets in the way. I mean, it was a... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the way it looks, but from a technical standpoint, tr for him trying to use this as his main melee weapon, um, the tail just gets in the way for him. But... Yeah, the cyber planet key. Uh, what did I do with that planet key? Oh, here we go. But in his robot mode, just push in here. As you saw, this is part one reason why I actually don't like this little design flaw. Is the rotor blades can get in the way of him deploying his weapons. But other than that, um, he's actually a pretty cool figure. The now I'll be honest with you. I actually like this one right here. I like the repaint better than I do the original one, just for the simple fact of his color scheme. I don't know. Maybe that's why he was standing in crooked. But dead solid figure. Um, I would get him if you can find him. Um, he shouldn't be too terribly hard to find, but overall. I mean, he's a dead solid. He's a dead solid figure. Let's go cool in his robot mode. I love the helicopter mode. That's my take on Autobot Blades. You have a good day.